Hey, how you doing? Coming into this uh, two-game series, you guys talked about this being a good opportunity to measure yourselves up against one of the best teams in the league. Just uh, what have you seen from your team in these two wins? I thought the last two games um, was high level. That team over there, that's a good team. I know all of those guys. I know what they're about. They play hard. I mean, well-coached, disciplined. Um, and for us to take them on our home floor and win these two games is huge for, for our, our program. And you figured, you know, them getting a second look at Zion, they will try to do a few different things against him, uh, still managed to get 35. Just, just what did you think about the way he adjusted to what they did and still performed tonight? Zion is, um, he's, he's a matchup problem. Um, they did throw some different looks at him. Uh, they started to hit off of uh, just a number of guys at the top. And he still made the right plays, and the ball would continue to find him, and he just attacks. And when he attacks like he does, you know, he, it's just tough to cover him. Does he, uh, does he ever surprise you with some of the – how he can get to the rim with some of these spin moves that he, that he pulls off? You know what? I, I try to make sure that I'm over and over again that it doesn't get boring watching what he does. It's incredible, his touch. I mean, he's going left, bumps into people, and somehow he, he's able to flick it off the backboard and with the soft touch, and it's incredible uh, what, what he can do on the floor. Dyson, in the, in, especially in the overtime when, I mean, Aiden's out and you guys are reading on, on the jock, I think he, he made like three or four plays to either get the ball out of Jock's hands or prevent uh, a shot. Just what does it mean to have a guy like that so when you are switching off of a point guard that, that he can – Battle with these these bigs in the middle like that. Um, he was switching on off of uh, off of Chris. Chris yeah. Um, no, he was great. Dyson, once again, his defensive instincts are incredible. I told him in the locker room that he was huge uh, for us tonight in this win. His his ability to guard, his rebounding ability. Um, he was aggressive on the offensive end, and then he just made plays for his teammates. And those are things that we know he can do, and he's just gaining more confidence as he plays. Yeah, Larry did a little bit of everything for you guys tonight. What would you think about his night overall? He's a Swiss Army knife. Um, Larry can do a bit of everything. He can shoot the ball. He can play make from the perimeter, from the post. He can guard multiple positions. He's a, he's a really good rebounder, just high IQ on the floor. Larry was phenomenal. Uh, all of our guys, though, collectively, they just um, – you know, we, we had some overtime wins this season that just didn't go our way. And um, it was good to get one tonight on our home floor. Yeah, and I mean, Larry, Larry it seems like, at least to us, like he's, he seems like he's been a, a vocal leader for you guys, you know, since he came in. Um, you know, the stuff we can't see, the leadership department, you know, how, how big is he there for you guys day in and day out? He's huge. He, he just settles us down. Uh, when Larry talks, everybody listens. Uh, he didn't say a lot during practice or during games. But when he does, the group is listening to him. Uh, CJ with 29 points tonight. Just from your perspective, what was the difference for him offensively in this game? Number one, he's, he's getting healthy. And that's the biggest part for CJ. Um, it just took some time for him to kind of get his legs under him. But he, he had a terrific game tonight, shooting the ball well, getting to the basket, getting to the free throw line, all the things that when we acquired CJ last season that he was doing right away. Uh, so it was good to see him have, have a CJ-like game. Hey, Willie, you know everything that Zion went through last year. What is it like for you just to hear those MVP chants for him after what, he gone, what he's gone through? I'm, I'm just proud of him more, more than anything. Um, when you have an injury, especially being the caliber of, of player that Zion is, you're measured by how you recover from those type of injuries. And, um, you know, there's a lot of scrutiny and eyes on him. And for him to come back to have the conditioning that he does, uh, still have his touch, his handle, um, you can tell he, he was working in the off season. So a credit to him and, and his team and, and all the people that supports him. But we're all proud of him and, and glad to have him on the floor with us. Really, you have a lot of guys playing really well um, up and down the roster, and potentially two starters on the on the way back soon. Uh, is it going to be a challenge to integrate everybody and find the minutes for everybody, given how well everyone's playing? There will be some adjustments. Um, there were there were adjustments when we had guys go out, 
and we'll have to make some more adjustment when adjustments when guys come back. Um, that's just the name of, of the game, so we, we kind of expect that to happen. <clears throat> Saving your challenge for overtime seemed to work today. Um, how do you balance knowing maybe you can challenge some other calls in the third or fourth, but saving it for you know potential moments like like you had tonight. How, do, how does that kind of work with choosing when to use that for you? I just didn't see anything tonight before overtime that was worth challenging. And um, we have a crew behind the bench that does a great job of taking a quick look at what happened. And they give me a demonstrative yeah. yes or no. And that one was a demonstrative yes. I saw House give a demonstrative <laughs> no earlier at one point. Yeah. Uh, other games, but besides tonight, how, how does that – do you just kind of depend on those guys in, in that situation to, to wait? I'm sure, you, I'm sure you don't want to probably use one in the first half considering the rules of it, but how, how do you just – in any game, how do you kind of balance that? We, we kind of have a system in what is worth challenging versus not, and we go down our checkpoints, and if it's something worth challenging based on what helps you win a game, we'll challenge it. If not, we just – Next play. If Larry's your Swiss Army knife, what label would you give Najee? Najee's just a knife. <laughs> <laughs> he comes in the game and he's cutting everybody. And um, No, Najee's been great. Um, I've said it before. He's just one of our guys that has earned everything that he's gotten. And from the start of summer league all the way up to now, Najee's just working. He's, he's doing a great job with Coach Corey Brewer watching film in the gym. And um, it's great to see these young guys continue to grow. We have a long ways to go, OK? So um, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but we like to celebrate small victories. And this is one for us, just the win streak, taking care of home court, um, beating a team that we all respect. And could you talk about the job he did defensively along with Dyson on Chris Paul? Those two guys mainly stuck on Chris Paul tonight. Dyson was he was great. Najee was great. Um, we know what Chris can do. Uh, he's arguably one of the greatest point guards to play. Um, future Hall of Famer. We know that throughout the course of the game, he's going to set the table for his guys. And then at the end of the game, he's going to make some shots, which he did. Uh, but I just thought they did a great job of wearing him down and making him take tough shots. Sticking with Najee, how much do you think he kind of embodies the personality of this team, just everything he brings off the court? He, he, he does it. Um, he's kind of one of our emotional leaders. Uh, Najee, Jose, they get in the game and they just turn everything around. Uh, but they're the same way in practice. And there's no drop off. That's what these guys do. And, and we're appreciative and, and blessed to have all of our guys that just continue to buy into to how we want to build. Well, how would you describe how your guys have handled the success, especially in the last three weeks or so? Um, number one, we're, we're so grateful to be in this position and um, extremely blessed to, to have a group that we have. Uh, but we realize we haven't won anything yet. And that's our mentality. Um, we want to win, we want to win big, but we want to focus on the small victories. And so we're in our 10 game stretch and that's our focus. And we'll continue to keep our heads down, but our guys are doing, doing a great job of, we're all reminding each other that it's a long season and we don't need to play our best basketball right now. We want to play our best in March, April, May, June. Do you have to ping on that or do the guys just sort of get that? Uh, we it's it's collective. Um, it's the guys. It's it's the coaching staff. It's our performance team. It's medical. It's our management team. We're all in it together. We all have discussions and conversations about the growth and how we want to build. And like I said, this is this is fantastic. Don't take it for granted at all. Extremely grateful and blessed. But you know, we know we haven't won anything yet. You guys, you have a lot of young guys who are so good defensively. Obviously, you guys as a group are good defensively. But um, I wondered how much it matter, um, how much you think it's important for them to really be themselves as they're as they're you know working within the system. Obviously, but but what do you? I've heard some guys say that you like them to be themselves and give them a little bit of the freedom to do that. 
I'm curious, like, what your thinking is on that. For sure. I, I think that's the beauty in uh, basketball. Um, these guys are extremely talented and, and gifted. And um, my job is to try to, our job is to try to create environments that they can be the best that they can be. And sometimes I, I have to adjust based on who they are um, because we want to influence and, and encourage our guys personality-wise, game-wise to, you know, just be who you are, do the things that you did to get where you are. And then, you know, we can add bits and pieces as we go, but that, I think that's extremely important. Okay, thank you. Thank you.